New information on how Tokyo Electric Power Company handled the early days of the Fukushima Daiichi accident is causing a stir. Members of an outside panel have been looking into why TEPCO did not disclose the nuclear plant's multiple meltdowns. They say orders came from the top, something officials deny. NHK World's Yuri Ito reports. The president was giving orders not to use the word meltdown because the prime minister's office said not to. It was a shocking revelation. The panel says TEPCO could have disclosed the meltdowns as early as three days after the accident, but didn't because of a chain of command. The meltdowns occurred at three reactors following the earthquake and tsunami in March 2011. But it wasn't until May of that year that TEPCO officials used the word to describe what happened. Thousands of residents still can't go home because of the accident. And local officials in Fukushima are angry. I've been infuriated by TEPCO's attitude many times before, and now this. People were talking about meltdowns soon after the accident, but TEPCO stubbornly avoided using that language. Finding this out now, five years after the fact, is simply unbelievable. TEPCO officials said in the past that they didn't use meltdown because the term wasn't precisely defined and they didn't want any misunderstanding. But members of the panel say that the TEPCO president at the time, Masataka Shimizu, was under pressure from the prime minister's office, and he instructed his deputy not to use the word. This is how those instructions played out at a news conference just three days after the accident. After the reporter's question, a public relations official quickly shows the vice president a piece of paper and then whispers into his ear. We cannot clearly explain what might be happening to the fuel in the reactors at this moment. But panel members say they couldn't track down what exactly happened between TEPCO and the prime minister's office, and they haven't interviewed any officials there. The top government spokesperson at the time of the nuclear accident blasted the panel's findings, and he says he's considering legal action. Then Prime Minister Khan and I never instructed or requested President Shimizu on any occasion to not use the term meltdown. An expert called the panel's findings vague and insufficient. He says such a panel shouldn't have been appointed by TEPCO. The biggest question should be whether the term meltdown was avoided intentionally and whether TEPCO was covering things up. The panel members believe it wasn't a cover-up. They say TEPCO officials resisted using the word in a climate where even Japanese nuclear regulators were reluctant to suggest a meltdown. But many people aren't convinced. Yuri Ito, NHK World.